One of the less predictable functions in ornament and crime is the Lorenz attractor mode, named Low Rents. While some of the other modes tend to perform common functions in interesting ways, such as the Quanter main, a four-channel pitch quantizer, or peaked mode, which we've looked at before, low rents generate strange variable streams of voltages. Based on the Easter egg mode in mutable instruments streams, this function was originally designed as a simplified mathematical model for weather and atmospheric patterns, demonstrating how the slightest deviations between two or more starting points will eventually plot unique paths. These equations generate complex three-dimensional loops when plotted, naturally taking on a shape similar to that of a butterfly. In Ornament and Crime, this function generates a chaotic collection of voltages based on this same basic model. The changing voltages of the three axes are converted to three independent voltage sources, each resulting in fluctuating, bouncing shapes, reminiscent of a modulated LFO. In low rents mode, Ornament and Crime generates two simultaneous sets of these Lorenz attractors, in addition to two Rossler attractors, another set of mappable chaotic equations. The voltage from any of the three axes on any of the four generated attractor shapes can be routed to the four outputs in the menu settings. I will route outputs A and B to the one volt per octave inputs on the Maleko anti-oscillator and the Sputnik oscillator, both tuned to the same pitch and outputting triangle waves. I'll use the first Lorenz attractor x-axis for output A by choosing the LX1 option in the OUT1 menu, which will likely be the default setting. I'll select the same Lorenz y-axis for output B using the LY1 listening. We should hear somewhat similar motion between the two, slightly askew in pitch, one following the motion of the other. select another axis, such as the z-axis, we'll hear a different relationship form between the two voltage sources. To complicate these models further, the trigger inputs can be used to reset or freeze the evolution of the attractors, while the CV inputs can be used to alter the frequency and mix of the Lorenz and Rossler functions. Ultimately, this mode is useful as a collection of odd, non-linear modulation sources. The output signal vastly differs from a stepped or fluctuating random source generator, making low rents mode a handy and unique modulation tool. How are you generating odd modulation sources? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching and sharing. As always, please like, follow, and subscribe. And remember, patch smarter.